Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Virtual Ride, and today I want to show you my new sample pack. Um, um, so one of my favorites in here are the uh, impacts because I spent some time on these, making them like really cinematic but futuristic at the same time. So they are like. And a lot of these will be uh, also gridded a little bit because I think I made them all at 150. So like this one, for example, just let's just use that and start a thing with that. This one has like a little bit of an of a build here that's just uh, a, a quarter note um, cinematic. The impact is like right here, so these are a little easier to work with if you're on a grid in 150. Um, and then let's see, this one is like in D sharp minor or something. So let's add. One of these beautiful synth pad loops here. I'm gonna turn on the volume of these a bit. And then maybe layer that with... Nice. This one's kind of nice and dark, I might just use that. Can I add this one? This one's an F minor, so I'm just gonna like warp this to D sharp. <laughs> and then maybe after the first four bars, I want like a little downlifter or something. We could already have one on the first impact. So also something I really like to do is uh, using the uplifters and downlifters in reverse and then you have a downlifter made from an uplifter or the other way around. This little rhythmic one in here that I really like. <laughs> so maybe this could be the pattern for the drop later on. So I'm just gonna loop that and then as soon as that starts looping, I'm gonna bring in one of the drum top loops here. There's a bunch. Maybe have another impact here after eight bars. So I'm just gonna use the same impact track with like a little softer. This one was fine. So it has like a tiny attack. So put you here. Nice. And then maybe as a riser, let's reverse one of the downlifters. This one's kind of cool, so let's see what that sounds like in reverse. Nice, I like that. Um, maybe stop like a little earlier with like two quarter notes left and then add a little drum fill. There's like five little drum fills in here too because I saved them all for the Spicy Rhythm Drums pack, which you should also check out on Splice. That was kind of cool, let's just use that. And then, um, um, let's pick a kick and a snare. So I try to not clutter it too much this time, but uh, actually just make like claps and kicks and snares that I would like all use and that all like have a purpose sort of in different sort uh, different kinds of productions. So, but for this, I think we need something heavier. Like this boy. Uh, obviously there's some like kick clap uh, layers. And, um, All kinds of different snares, small ones, big ones, some like breakbeat snares. Um, I like these ones a lot because they sound a little bit Jack Yui, but not quite. They don't have the attack, but still this sort of vibe. So I'm just going to make like a kick and slap pattern here. Nice. I like that. Put that on my sidechain trigger. And then see, um, let's go into the bases folders and maybe just find a cool bass on the one. I like those, but they are in F, so I'm gonna pitch them down two semitones. And then dum dum dum. Maybe twice as fast. What's that? 
No, that was fine. That's cool. That's cool and distorted. And then like a little knocky clicky. Yes, you. So, but da da. And then maybe I can use this little glitch fill at the end here for this purpose. So we got. There we go. And then something else here as like a variation. Maybe I can use you over here. I just want like the same sort of dump, dump, dump rhythmic feel here again. Blend these a bit so there's no clicking. Or... That's kind of cool. Okay, let's loop this and maybe fill out some background emptiness with uh, some of the synth loops in here. So there's like all these hype loops to fill out background emptiness. So we just load one in here. That's cool, but I personally enjoy it more if it's still a little more stabby. I'm just going to put like this volume automation on it. And then loop this entire thing again, but now bring in some hi-hat loop, maybe one of the more hectic ones. Yeah, this one. Make sure this goes through sidechain. And maybe also add some symbols and crashes. So you can do the same thing that I'm doing with the drum rack here also by just putting them on audio tracks. I just like this more because then it's like a little easier. I like working with MIDI more sometimes. So now I can just make like this little pattern where it's this one on the kick, yep. this one on the snare, yep. and this one in yep. queen everywhere. <laughs> that rhymes. Nice. Um, maybe have one of the... <laughs> come. Have you come in here on the offbeats at the end? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. um, and maybe some like really short reverse noise in the risers. There's like this little thing that you might have heard in some of my tunes. So um, I'm just gonna put this. The main stab isn't chuggy enough for me yet. Nice. Now I would just start mixing this and like adjust the volume levels. I just threw something together real quick, but uh, this sounds kind of nice already. Um, let's listen to the whole thing real quick. <laughs> Um, sounds like a droid. Possibilities are endless. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you how you can quickly make something, uh, out of this out of this pack and I didn't put any crazy effects on anything I don't think I put any effect except for like the volume automation on this I pitched some things up and down to like B and key um, yeah uh, I hope you learned something today and everyone have a nice day bye bye